This is probably going to be a short adventure this morning, but let me give you a little background. I am down in the deep south, and I'm meeting a, a friend of mine, well, a guy I met online, but we haven't actually met met, but he's going to take me metal detecting for a couple days down here, and uh, I was kind of waiting for him, and you know, our meeting place, and he said he was going to be a little bit late because something broke on his truck or his boat or something. So I decided to do uh, a little exploration on my own for about an hour, an hour and a half at max, probably an hour at this point. So what we're going to do is, well, what I did is I got online real quick, did some research and found what I think to be is an old colonial road that crosses a river right here. And I think I just found the roadbed, although I'm not positive. I do believe they were using the road up to um, probably up through like the early 1900s. Well, I'm not positive of that either. I mean, I could be way off, but we're almost there. You can certainly tell we're not in Maryland, Virginia, or Pennsylvania anymore, can't you? I guess this is probably where the hogs have rooted all this up, I suppose. Although I'm not positive on that. But I think this might be the roadbed right here, according to my map. And if it is, hopefully there's an old bridge. Yeah, this has got to be. Uh, it looks like it goes out to the river here. I can see some something on the other side. So this is an old uh, bridge right here. What I've done, I'm not going to metal detect it, but I, what I've done is I brought my magnet with me. Since we don't have very much time, I figured we'll just throw it in a few times, see if we can snag an old cannonball or something. Now, if this was heavily used uh, during the Civil War, this area, and uh, the Revolutionary War as well. There was actually a battle uh, right here at the bridge. So, so maybe there'll be a Revolutionary War air musket in here with the, uh, the Redcoats killed a bunch of colonials and they probably just pitched their stuff in the river because uh, you know they had their own brown besses that they used. Yeah I'd, I would say without a doubt this is the old bridge at least the one that was on the map from about 1900. You ready? I didn't bring my tripod so I'm gonna have to like hold the camera while I you know throw the magnet out but let me get it rigged up first. We probably have about 40 minutes or so probably not any more than that right here but we'll know We'll either get snagged and lose the magnet or uh, get disgusted probably within 10 minutes. I just love it down here with all the uh, Spanish moss and stuff. It's so cool. All right, I get the magnet rigged up. Unfortunately, for some reason on this magnet, I don't have that guard that I like to put on here that uh, keeps it from getting caught on branches so much. So we have to be really careful. This is a tow rope that you would use for um, like uh, water skiing type stuff and it has a big loop on it there and I just put that over my arm so I don't lose it. All right, you ready? If we find something really good, we'll come back with a boat. That way we can really hit it. There's not much area to hit right here. I'm really afraid of these stumps getting caught up with more of the magnet because I don't want to go swimming this morning. All right, so the first toss, I'm just going to kind of keep close to shore for now until I see what the bottom's like. I'm just going to go ahead and just pitch that out there a little ways. <laughs> yeah, I was close to shore, wasn't it? And uh, what we're going to do is just kind of slowly work it in and see if we can feel it snag on any iron. I mean, there should be stuff close to shore here. Just as likely as this stuff out there. See, I'm, I'm hitting a log now. I can feel it. See, I can see it going sideways. So I'm running up the edge of a stick and I don't want to get snagged in a branch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to here. It looks like a little bit more open down there. So I'll gather the rope up and meet you right there. It's a little more open here so hopefully we'll be away from that log. I'm not going to throw it far because I don't want to go swimming. So we're just going to put it right there. And if it doesn't snag anything then maybe we'll throw it out a little further later. Of course I got to get the rope without falling in above my boots. My boots. Okay you ready? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it slowly across the bottom just, li just like that. And uh, if it hits something iron, I'll feel it. I'll feel it kind of snag to it. Which is a lot different than if it hits uh, a branch. So I'm not hitting anything yet. If this was used as a bridge, if this was used as a bridge in the 19, early 1900s, I mean, there should be other stuff in here that people would have thrown in. Although I didn't feel anything on that one. Nothing on it. Let me throw it a little further. This time, because the, the bottom didn't feel like it had any logs on it. So let's go out that way. Not much further. <laughs> Got snagged right here. But it doesn't matter. The old brown best can be right here against the... The bank as good as anywhere. Alright, so what I'm going to do, since I haven't hit anything yet, is I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. It's going over a branch there. 
Of course, if this is tidal, this might be dry in a couple hours right where I'm at. So I'm going to turn the camera off and throw it until I snag something. And then I'll get the camera back out and we'll take a peek at it. Now this is a good example of how the magnet can get caught on the branches. Now I'm lucky this is a small branch, I can just pull it right free, but if that was a big tree, you know, I might lose a magnet on that one. And if I had that cup on the uh, front of it, it would probably slid right around it. But So that's what you got to be careful for, stuff like that. So I've been at it for about 15 minutes, I have not got a single hit until just now, and it's right at my feet. Well, that's where I snagged it. I don't even know if I can pull it out or not, but... There's definitely a big old chunk of iron there. It just snapped to it right there. So let's see if we can pull it up. Ooh, pretty big. Again, if this was a bridge, I mean, that could be a giant uh, reel that we're never going to get up. It doesn't seem to be moving at all. But you can see it's stuck to it. Here it snapped right to it. There we go again. There's no give at all in it. And the thing is, with a magnet, if there's a lot of rust on it, you don't get the full strength of it. I can almost reach down and grab that. I probably will before we go. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll fish around with that. I'll try to grab it um, by hand. Hopefully there's no water moccasins down there with it. Hopefully that magnet scared them off because there are definitely water moccasins in where I'm at right now. So if you don't see me again, it was nice knowing you. You'll see me again. I was able to reach down there and grab it with my hand. It's actually like a giant spike and a piece of wood, so it's probably part of the old bridge. You can't see it from here, but trust me, it's right there. I tried my best. We'll try again with a magnet and see if we can snag a cannonball this time. Well, here's our only find so far, and it looks like a piece of barbed wire, so <laughs> that's not very old. I'm right on the edge of the ramp here. I'm going to try to climb down to that uh, tree right there and see if I can stand and pitch it out in that clear water. It's probably really our only hope at this spot right here. It's naturally I can't get to the other side, so <sighs> keep your fingers crossed. Well, I managed to get it snagged very solid, so <laughs> I guess the rest of the video is gonna be me trying to get it out without actually having to get in the water, because I don't want to get in the water. So, it's into like a V of a, a, a tree, I guess. Not get away from those trains. Drove 10 hours and I'm still at the trains. <laughs> See, it's snagged right there, so I'm going to take this rope and kind of weed it through here and try to grab it and pull it down that way. Sometimes that'll get it free. It's probably stuck in a V right there. That's why we should have had that little cup on the front of it there to make it go around those things. Well, I worked my way down a little bit, and um, I'm pulling on it from a different angle, but it's still stuck solid. So I'm going to have to go up in the bushes there and try to find a branch with like a V on it, and I'm going to put it in the water, and I'll show you this. And I'm going to push on the rope to try to get it away from that log. You can see I'm out on this tree right here, and I'm pulling from a downstream now, but it's still I'm stuck solid. So, and that's like in a branch for sure. It's in a like a V of one of those trees. Uh, so I'm going to get that stick, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Hopefully my rope won't float away. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I don't know if I can actually hold the camera when I'm doing it though, because I don't want to fall in. But what I did is I got a stick and I have just a little tiny V in it. It's not a strong stick, but I think it'll work. And I'm going to put that, that V of those branches on the rope and just slide it down the rope until I get to the end. And hopefully I can just push it and it'll just swing the magnet out of, the, uh, out of that fork in the tree. It's probably caught in something like this that more severe. And what I need to do is push that rope up so the magnet will come out. If I can show you, I will. Chances are I won't be able to because i got to get going. Um, I'm going to be late if I don't get a move on. Okay, you can see my stick. This is actually the second one because I've already broke one. But see how I have the rope on the fork? What I'm going to do is just push it out into the water like that and down. And I'm just going to keep pushing it down like that until it gets right next to the magnet or above and beyond the magnet. And that should free it. I'm going to have to turn the camera off because I'm going to skinny up to that spot right there. So wish me luck and if we fall in, you know what to do. That's right. Hold your breath. I got it free. <laughs> I was almost ready to go up on the bank and strip down to me, well, to my birthday suit and jump in, but at the last minute it came free. And I don't think we're going to be late, but yeah, I got it. So I got it on that fork. It was stuck right there. That's it for the video. Ah! <laughs> that hurts. I have to get off this bridge before I start talking like this. <laughs> we'll see you somewhere else. I hope you enjoyed the video, though we didn't find much. <laughs> I hope I can dig somewhere else today. 
we'll see you a little bit later. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets. She's promised to keep hidden in her dirt.